I think I really take away a whole host of, um, uh, of, of new people I've met and, and stu fellow students who are really just as passionate and interested in civic engagement, and voting, and democracy. Um, and I think one thing that we've really tried to build on in this conference is a sense of community. Um, and we've done that through, you know, from social outings like our trip to Boston and our um, very interactive sessions here at the conference to, you know, the, the website and the blog that we're creating. Um, really a sense of you know, not just this one weekend, but hopefully a prolonged uh, initiative throughout the year to really connect and collaborate and communicate. I just think my favorite part was uh, making a lot of new connections, meeting all the new people that have institutes of politics on their campus like ours. I really love making connections with all the other students. Um, it was great to meet people who are in a similar situation with me, who are dealing with similar issues. I loved all the speakers that came in. They are so fascinating and had so much insight to share with us, especially Kendra being so young and um, inspiring to us that look at how much you can accomplish at such a young age and you can really make a name for yourself if you just get out there and you're motivated. We're really excited to definitely continue to keep updated with the blog that was put in place and just keep stay connected with everyone else that we met and continue to work together towards our common goal even though we all come from different backgrounds and different parts of the country. It's really nice to meet people with such a common interest and passion for democracy. My favorite part about the conference or my favorite parts about the conference are the tools that I'm actually going to be able to take away and apply to our Wagner pro program and our Impact Scholars program. I definitely liked um, how, I think it was Nancy Thomas, she was talking about um, different, that a speaker isn't going to do anything for people who don't care. And so, um, especially at my university, students aren't caring about the budget crisis and what's going on with the reorganization and there's just like apathy and so she really um, inspired me just with um, ideas of think tank and rethinking democracy and rethinking inclusion and equity and um, to kind of think outside the box to first give people knowledge and then that transfers into ideas. They came up with a lot of ideas, a lot of hopefully solutions and just um, getting the word out there about our own institute and um, even contributing to that conversation about solutions that we've had to these problems. Um, it's just been really good to, to form a connection and make new friends, you know, in a social aspect and in a professional aspect as well. We're looking to bring some of the ideas from this conference back. We want to do something like Sainé's Listens to have a more open dialogue and have less um, speakers talking to the students and have more interaction. So I think that that's a great idea. Brainstorming together how we can most effectively promote uh, politics and political engagement on campus. And as we did sort of in our last brainstorming session, we really found great ideas on things like political humor and people who lead international think tanks and um, ways to get people who are not already politically engaged at IOPs. Now we have a brain trust of students that we can really lean on and reach out to to help us solve these problems and that ripple effect can go across the country and really, really help solve a lot of problems on college campuses and uh, communities within college campuses.